None of the houses on this block have, have changed. This um, house right here, um, the only thing that's changed about it is, let's see, they put a fence around it, that brown fence, two fences, because we never had a fence. And um, I don't know who lives there now, but this is the house that my mother, um, from the time I was like 11 years old, when I was in fifth grade, 10 years old, we moved here. And she stayed here until I was 44. I didn't stay necessarily with her, but I was here a lot. And my brothers were raised here, and my grandkids were raised here. And uh, this house has a lot of uh, meaning in our family. You know, it, um, we hung in the backyard. We, um, whenever one of us was hurt or sick or in trouble, this is where we came. Um, and this block, actually, was like our block. This, this was our block, you know. Uh, uh, you were either friend. There was no foes on this block. Everybody on this block were friends of ours, or either scared of us. So it was like, and, and most people were, were friends of ours because this lady, I cut her. I used to cut her yard for her. An older lady lived here, and my brothers used to shovel her snow. And um, the neighbors on the corner never spoke to us. I didn't even know who they were. They'd go out their back door, but they never really spoke to us. Um, and we knew all the kids on the block. And this corner here was probably the busiest drug corner in Minneapolis. Um, these four corners, um, just um, day and night, just day and night, the drug trade. There was also an after hours house. Not, it, wasn't, it wasn't a house, it was a garage that was converted for, the, for drugs and prostitution and um, you could buy alcohol, you could buy anything you needed right in that garage over there. It was air conditioned, it had a refrigerator. Um, on Sundays they'd barbecue so that, you know, we could, had a gambling table. It had everything that um, you, you didn't have to leave the community. You could buy cigarettes, you could buy a sandwich. <laughs> You could buy anything you wanted. And this was just an area um, that was besieged with just ugliness, just, um, you know. Uh, but the people that lived here were used to it. Gunshots didn't bother people. You know, there was a lot of gunshots around here, up and down the streets, um, cars moving fast, prostitutes walking up and down the street. People just sort of got used to it. They just sort of went asleep to it. And uh, it was normal. This was, this was home. I hung a lot right on, just hanging out on this corner. If I wanted to find my son, uh, I would come right here to this corner. He'd be standing on one of these two corners, you know, close to his grandmother's house, you know. So um, this was a, a quite a, a lot of history here for us. And every time I pass this house, I think, um, there was a lot of bad memories, but there was a lot of good memories in that house. You know, we had a lot of parties, a lot of things happened, you know, good and bad. So, because most of us, me, me and my brothers, all used to hang in the basement. That, that was, uh, that basement was known by the whole neighborhood, you know, people, our friends with five brothers, you know, you got a lot of friends coming through. And so, this is it.